Before beginning our Pro Tools session, we'll look at the Setup menu. Let's look at Hardware. We see that our computer is hooked up to an MBOX2. We also see that the clock source for the MBOX2 and our session is set to Internal, and our sample rate is set to 44.1. When we begin a new session, we can choose to edit the sample rate. Let's choose OK. Under Setup, Playback Engine, we can choose to configure the buffer size, the amount of our task processors allocated to the session, and the CPU usage limit. Typically, the buffer size will be lowered when doing live recording with monitoring, and will be raised when editing. Right now, we'll leave it at 512 samples. Our task processors refers to the number of processors allocated to be used in Pro Tools. Since I'm using a Quad G4, I'll allocate all four processors. CPU usage limit tells Pro Tools how much of the CPU it can use. Here, it can use 85%. As well, there's an option called the DAE playback buffer. You can fiddle around with this option in order to minimize or maximize Pro Tools power. However, be forewarned that editing any of these settings may cause instability in your session and your session may unexpectedly shut down. We'll look at Setup, Peripherals. Here we see that if we have any MIDI time control or MIDI machine control devices we can configure them using the different tabs. For our series of lessons we won't be using this but it's helpful to know should you have Pro Tools at home and you'd want to uh, customize your setup. We'll take a look at in-out. This shows the mbox2. The out currently is going to left and right of the mbox2. In the case of a Digi001, we would see multiple outs. We can create new paths, and as well we can create new buses. Here, we'll choose OK. Finally, there's the MIDI option. And under MIDI Studio, we're given the Core Audio MIDI setup in the Mac OS. This means that we'll simply use the Mac Audio MIDI setup to configure our MIDI devices, and, and Pro Tools will automatically know which channels to send and receive MIDI from. We'll also choose this information on each individual tracks 